Almost 50 million people living in the United States are food insecure, meaning that they do not have enough food to eat. This is according to Craig Gunderson, a professor in agricultural strategy at the University of Illinois, and James Ziliak, a professor in microeconomics at the University of Kentucky, in their article published in the Health Affairs Journal in November of 2015. Food insecurity in urban America affects the lives of millions of people each year. Today, I will first be telling you about the problem of food insecurity in urban America, and second, I will be describing how urban agriculture is a solution. To begin, let's discuss the problem of food insecurity. Food insecurity is a major problem in the urban United States. According to Craig Gunderson and James Ziliak, as previously mentioned, food insecurity occurs when households lack adequate access to food because of a limited amount of money or other resources. According to Alicia Coleman Jensen, a social science analyst and other authors, in their article published on the United States Department of Agriculture website in September of 2018, the United States Department of Agriculture measures food insecurity based on a series of 18 question surveys. An example question that may be asked is, in the last 12 months, were you ever hungry but did not eat because there was not enough money for food? Based on questions like these, households are classified into levels of food security. These levels range from food secure to very low food secure. According to Craig Gunderson and James Ziliak, as previously mentioned, food insecurity is one of the nation's leading health and nutritional issues. Food insecurity is associated with high risks of anemia, cognitive problems, anxiety, and depression. According to Sarah According to Mark Esposito, a professor of economics and business at the Halt International Business School and additional authors in their article published in the Stanford Social Innovation Review in December 27, 2017, low-income families are subject to buying more processed food items because of the high, pro the high cost of fresh foods. This means they opt for more sugar and fat-laden products that are less expensive. According to Sarah Karapi, a media production advertising professional in her article published on the PBS NewsHour website on February 3rd, 2014, food deserts are becoming an increasing problem for low-income families. Food deserts are areas that lack access to supermarkets and fresh, nutritious foods. In the United States alone, 23.5 million people are considered to be living in food deserts. According to an article published by Tulane University, a private research university in New Orleans, on their website in 2019, 20% of individuals living in food deserts have an income that is at or below the federal poverty line. There are two major city examples of food deserts in America. These are Chicago and New York City. In Chicago, the number of people living in a food desert is 500,000 people. And in New York City, the number is 750,000. According to Sarah Karapi, as previously stated, People living in these areas are subject to poor diets and are at an increased risk of developing health issues. This puts them at a greater risk of chronic diseases and other illnesses. Now that I have told you about the problem of food insecurity in America, I will now discuss how urban agriculture is a solution. According to Miguel Altieri, a professor of agroecology at the University of California, Berkeley, in his article published on foodfirst.org on February 14, 2019, Urban agriculture is growing in popularity across the nation. In the last 30 years, urban agriculture has increased in popularity by 30% in the United States alone. It is estimated that urban agriculture can meet 15 to 20% of our global food demand. There are several different farming practices that constitute urban agriculture. According to Miguel Altieri, as previously stated, the first method is cities utilizing vacant lots and empty spaces in the cities to grow a variety of different crops. They can do this under low-fee, multi-year leases. The second method is rooftop gardening. According to Lisa Barclay, a reporter and media editor on an article published on the National Public Radio website on September 25, 2013, rooftop gardening utilizes empty spaces on top of large buildings. An example of this can be seen on the McCormick Place in Chicago. On top of the roof, they grow 8,000 to 12,000 pounds of food each year. This is equivalent to 10,000 food servings. The third and final method of 
agriculture, urban agriculture that is currently being seen in cities is vertical farming. According to Mark Esposito and other authors, as previously stated, vertical farming is the practice of growing crops in vertically stacked layers in empty warehouses and other large buildings. It uses electronic sensors to calculate and make sure that plants are getting the proper amounts of LED lights, nutrients, and heat. It has year-round growing cap capabilities and it uses less water consumption. Today, I have first told you about the problem of, urban, of food insecurity in urban America, and second, I have described how urban agriculture is a solution. Food insecurity in urban America affects the lives of millions of people each year. Think of the nearly 50 million people living in America that are food insecure. Without a solution to the problem, this number will continue to rise to drastic numbers and the consequences could be devastating.